guys, so this is a video on um, how to create an iPhone um, a ringtone. Since um, the actual iPhone only comes with custom designed uh, ringtones on it, uh, no custom designed ringtones on it, um, it's quite frustrating to know that you can't use any songs from your iTunes library to um, create and um, to actually set them as your ringtones on your phone automatically. The process behind it is not as complicated as you might think. Uh, once you get used to it, um, it's perfectly easy to do all the time. Um, for this demo, I'm going to use a song, Nicki Minaj, Your Love, um, which is the song playing right now. For uh, the time period, follow the time sequence in this area. I don't know if you can see that, let me just move it closer. So, um, this area is where you'll be able to see the actual start and stop time that you'd like to select for the actual ringtone that you're going to create. So I'm going to start with the actual process of how to go about doing so. Um, this is the song that I'm going to use, so I'll right click on it and I select Sorry about the shaky hand. Get info. And then I select option. There's a start time checkbox. Select that and select the stop time checkbox. For the period that I've listened to, you'll probably want to listen to the song for a few or quite a f like maybe maybe a couple of times just to decide on the period that you'd like the actual ringtone to start and stop at. For me, I've selected I think it was, I'm going to just do it as 20 seconds because I can't quite remember how, what, I, what I decided on earlier on. And then um, 44 seconds, make sure you use the colon to separate that, and then at 44 seconds. So basically what I just did there was select the start time, select the stop time, and then hit the OK button. I'm going to try and make that steady again. Uh, once you've done that, right click on that again, go into create ACC version. That will take a few seconds and it's going to come up with a new file here. It's just made a little beep noise once it's done. So the Shortened version is 24 seconds. Right click on it. Shortened version should uh, turn up right below the actual original I um, iTunes song. Right click on that and select show in Windows Explorer. It will pop up with your Windows Internet Explorer window and it will have the highlighted file for you. It should turn up as a .mp4a file, but for all ringtone files, um, the extension is m4r, so right click on that and select rename, or double click on it and select rename, let me make this a bit easier, select it, select rename, it should turn up as blue, and just turn the a into an r, select enter, it will come up with a quick pop-up. If you change your file name, the file may become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? And select here. Yeah. That's because I've already created a ringtone under that name. Okay, um, I'm just going to change it slightly. Remove the dash. Should be fine now. That's that. Once you've um, converted it into a ringtone, you should see that icon that signifies it's a ringtone. Um, basically, all I did was change the R, uh, change the A into an R. Double click on that file, and it will open up in the ringtone section, which is that area. Here's all the ringtones that I've got at the moment, and it will play it for 24 seconds. The next time you plug in your 
iPhone, it should up uh, and select your um, think option. It should update all your ringtones for you. One thing you should not forget is go back to the music that um, you have and select the edited version you made, which was 24 seconds, and ensure you delete that. So we don't want a 24 second clip it playing in your iTunes um, on your iPhone when you're listening to your songs. Then the actual original song, right click on it, select get info, select option and ensure you remove those times so that the song returns to its um, original playback time. Uncheck the stop time and it should automatically come up with zero as the start time and the original end time. Select OK. That should be returned to normal for play full playback time. Uh, and that's it. That's exactly how you create a ringtone.